black men cry. When divorces happen, women aren't the only one that are devastated. True. When a miscarriage happens, mm. women are not the only one that you should be checking on. Mm. Facts. When you can't put food on the table because your career goes up and then it goes down, stop calling, skipping over the man, and just checking on the woman. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> Tyrese. Tyrese really did it with this interview, y'all. I'm telling you. This brother said some things that hit home. Uh, they were long overdue. The brother, the brother went over some things that are often, uh, are often ignored in our society. He says, cry, black man, cry. It is okay to cry. And you know what? He's absolutely right. For too long, we have been taught that as men, we're supposed to bottle up our emotions to be strong, to be unbreakable. But at what cost? We are losing our brothers to unalivings, self-unalivings, depression, uh, to a society that tells them their feelings do not matter. We have been conditioned to believe that crying, showing emotion, family, makes us weak. But Tyrese flipped that narrative, and it's about time. Let's continue. A lot of grief. Like, I think about, you know, Brother Paul Walker, and I think about John Sing Ray, John Singleton, your mother. Divorce. You divorce. divorce. Both of yeah, my people, sisters people died. At, yeah, your sisters. People don't look at divorce as grief, but you did. You lose things, you know. You probably lost a lot of friends when you went through your, your, your mental health breakdown. Have you really taken the time to, to, to deal with all of that grief? Or do you just try to stay busy to avoid it? I'm doing the best I can with every 24 hours I get. That's it. Some tissue for me, brother. No, I don't need no tissue. Black men cry. That's right. You know, fuck it, tissue. Every 24 hours I get, I'm doing the best I can. There is no square footage I could ever live in. There is no rims, no jury, and no car. There is no net worth. There is no press release. There is no co-star. There is no collaboration in the world mm -hmm. that could ever replace my mom. He talking. He talking. I could ever feel the void of what it's like to wake up and get married and want to be in something for the rest of your life, Boy. and it goes away. Mm. Making me cry. He tired some tissue. He acting. I don't need no tissue. Man, you, you ask, man. Yeah. Oh man. I love you. You've too, been holding this Do you understand how though. much power it is and letting it go? Yeah, because you've been holding it the whole interview. Okay. I've been watching you. You asked me the question. I did, but I mean, I'm, I'm getting you. You should have never asked the question. I love you. If you didn't want to see I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. how hard it's you, been to get through. I love you. I love you, black man. Okay, do you not cry? Absolutely. You Absolutely. might not bring it to the radio. Absolutely. Absolutely. But this is what being grown is. Thank you, brother. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I need one. My makeup gonna mess up. I need Hear me. My concern is sitting today. Hear me. Black men cry. When divorces happen, women aren't the only one that are devastated. When a miscarriage happens, mm. women are not the only one that you should be checking on. Mm. When you can't put food on the table, because your career goes up and then it goes down. Stop calling, skipping over the man, and just checking on the woman. Right. This is real shit out here. I'm gonna wipe my own tears. That's not my makeup, Tyrese. I love you, sis. When you do things from the heart, it affects hearts. Mm. That's what beautiful pain is. <sighs> Listen. The part that got me, um, the, the part that got me is when he said, when, 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 you, when your marriage falls apart, when your career takes a nosedive, it's not just a thing that happens, it's a blow to your very soul, family. And who do men have to turn to? Who's checking in on us? Who's asking us, how you holding up, brother? What do you need? Tyrese said something profound. Don't just call and check on the woman, check on the man too. Men are suffering in silence carrying burdens that are literally breaking them, but they've been taught to keep it all inside. This needs to change, family. Think about it. How often have we seen a man cry on social media only to be laughed at, mocked, and trolled? 
Tyrese went public with his pain over losing his marriage and not being able to see his child. And instead of support, people turned him into a joke. Imagine that, pouring your heart out, only to be met with ridicule and laughter. If a woman does the same, she's met with support, symp sympathy, love, they rally around her. But when a man shows that same emotion, he's, it, he's, he's treated as if his pain is toxic and it's destroying us from the inside out. Chris Rock once said that the only people in the home that can get away without doing anything is the, the women, the children, and the dogs. But the man, the man has to constantly prove his worth. And if he falters, if his finances take a hit, everything else crumbles around him. Where's the love in that? Men want to be loved too. And men deserve to be loved just as much as anybody else. What Tyrese is saying is so necessary, family. Men. It's okay to cry, it's okay to feel, it's okay to express your emotions. But here's the key, after you cry, after you release the pain, get up and do something about it. Don't let it paralyze you. Let it be the catalyst that drives you to action. Do you know that in your tears, there is a healing factor, there's a chemical that helps relieve emotional pain. Did you know that? That means that there's a necessity for those tears, family. Years ago, I really struggled to cry, really struggled. Used to believe I couldn't even cry. I would try to cry sometimes. I'd be so hurt, but I couldn't even cry. But I'd convince myself that what's the point in crying? It's irrelevant. It doesn't change anything. But then when I learned that fact, I said, wow, our bodies are amazing, man. Listen, fellas, I want you to know something. You are not alone out here. It's time we start supporting each other, lifting each other up and creating spaces where we can actually communicate. It's time to change the narrative to teach our boys that real strength comes from men who are in touch with their emotions, not hiding from them. So if you need to cry, cry, brother. And then let's build. Let's build each other up so we can rise stronger together. Tyrese, brother, thank you for your words. They're powerful. They were needed. And they were true. You know, you're becoming somewhat of an oracle, man. I don't know if you realize it, but you are, you are doing mighty things, brother. The things that is coming out of you are life-changing. Maybe what you've been through made it, makes it all worth it, man. But, you know, uh, listen, man, let's be willing to make this change, man. Let's start raising our sons differently so that they can have the, the true strength to be able to get through this world. And that's to articulate their emotions, express them in a way that they can be understood. And women, let's work hard to understand our men. Understand your man. Try your best to understand when he's going through something. Because he may not be willing to tell you himself. He may not know how to tell you himself. Tyree said it's real out here. That man ain't lied yet. Listen, family, y'all be encouraged. And I hope you guys get something from this video. Peace, family.